My name is Emil Assebers and I'm uh, excited to be able to talk to you about the Phenom and what it can do for you. It's being designed with the uh, user in mind. It's, been, it's aimed at people who are not experts, but who have to be able to get results all the time. Um, our office in, is in Eindhoven in the Netherlands, which is uh, also where all the uh, innovation from FEI comes from. It's a big knowledge base for optics and for high tech. And we are very fortunate that we can use that, uh, that large knowledge base for our innovations. So let's talk about the Phenom. This here is the specimen holder. Doesn't look like one, but that is to uh, keep it simple. Specimen is in here, we've made some examples. Uh, some toothpick, uh, some, uh, some mesh, some semiconductor material. So it's over here. We put it in. We close the door. And then the system comes to life. You can see it, uh, it starts working. We immediately get uh, a first image made by a uh, digital camera. And we call this our never lost system. Uh, so you always know where you are on your specimen. You see immediately if there's anything useful on the specimen or not. And if it's not, you can take it out and you can put it in your next sample. As you can see, there are hardly any buttons. If I want to move the specimen, I just touch the image and the image is centered. Now this looks okay, so I'm thinking I, uh, I would like to put this into the electron microscope. So I touch this knob here and I say enter. So now the specimen is driven into the electron microscope. So you first uh, you get, uh, get an overview of your sample. We can, uh, we can do an autofocus. So again the system uh, looks at the, at the sample and uh, optimizes the settings. And now all we need to do is uh, go up in magnification, start looking for a nice part of the sample, do a little bit of focusing ourselves. This looks interesting, so I'm putting this in the center. I turn up the magnification a bit more. A little bit of focusing. So this is something uh, that looks worthwhile looking at. And basically this is the, s the first step. Most customers by now would say, okay, now I know what my, uh, what my production output looks like. It's okay, it's not okay. We, uh, we are happy, we are unhappy. So at this point they could decide to uh, basically get the specimen out of the phenom and they're done. So this is, the amount, the, uh, this is about the amount of time that it would take. Um, what we have added in the last uh, year is, uh, is elemental analysis. So over here you see what your specimen looks like and over here you can actually see what it's made of. So what we do is we take this information and bring it over to the next uh, screen. The image is now copied. And now we are going to actually look at, uh, look at what, it's, what it's made of. So we are selecting let's say one point or maybe two points and now the system is starting to collect uh, x-ray information generated by the electron beam and it will show uh, actually what uh, chemical elements the, speci the specimen is made of. This is an example specimen, it's not very exciting but uh, it keeps it simple. So I'm selecting one of these two points and you can see over here already uh, which elements are present in this, uh, in this specimen. Having done this, um, for most, again, for most customers, this, uh, this would be sufficient information. So we'll uh, create a map of this uh, specimen. So over here you, you can see an, uh, an iron, an, a chromium and a nickel map uh, occurring. And that's basically all there is to a phenom. You insert the specimen, you look at it, you do a chemical analysis uh, with hardly any knobs. And there are your results. That's all there is to it.